Yo, what is up guys? It is Uncle Kobe and welcome to the last episode of my pre-release Black Ops 2 Weapon Guide series where we talk about the guns, their possible pros, cons, strengths and weaknesses and overall just get excited about the game. So in this video we're going to be covering the pistols. Now Black Ops 2 remember you have the option to not equip a pistol or even a secondary in general uh, and we haven't seen much pistol gameplay at all really and I would not be surprised if a lot of people just end up skipping out on it and uh, have an extra attachment on their primary or use a wild card and stuff like that. However, I do really like what they did with the pistols to add a little more variety and usefulness to them. So the first pistol we are taking a look at is the Cap 40, and this was the one that was seen in the reveal trailer. It has an 18 point mobility, which is the same for all the pistols, an 8 point damage and range, and a 12 point accuracy. So stats wise, it has the lowest damage and range, and about an average accuracy, but what compensates for the low stats is that is it a fully automatic pistol, so you can just hold down that trigger and let the bullets pour out. It also doesn't have that bad of a recoil, but like I said, the bullets are very weak, so nothing overpowered or underpowered about this weapon, just overall a good gun. Next we have the TAC-45, and this thing is just your all-around good semi-automatic pistol. has a 14-point damage, 12-point range, and a 14-point accuracy, so significantly better than the Cat 40. However, if you don't have a fast trigger finger, then obviously it won't be as effective for you, but if you can shoot fairly quickly, I highly recommend this pistol. It has a crazy good damage for being a semi-automatic. However, the damage does drop off significantly once you hit medium range, and then at long range it is pretty much useless. But again, at close range, I highly recommend it. Up next we got the B23R, which is a burst fire pistol, 3 round burst to be exact. And first thing that I noticed is just the look of the gun. The thing looks pretty damn cool, really futuristic. For its stats it has a 10 point damage, 9 point range, and a 12 accuracy, so a slight drop off statistically due to it being a burst fire, but still slightly better than the Cat 40. It's going to have some recoil, unlike the Rafka from MW2, however the recoil will most likely be straight up and down, so pretty easy to control, and it's going to be most effective from medium ranges. Judging by its damage stat, I don't think you're going to be one bursting anyone, so that is a really good thing. Personally, I'm not into the burst pistols, but if you are, this gun looks pretty good. So next we have the Executioner, and this thing is one of a kind. First time I've seen anything like it in any Call of Duty game. It looks just like any old revolver, but this bad boy actually fires 28 gauge shotgun shells, and its stats reflect it. It has a 16 point damage which is just as strong as any shotgun, but it does have a measly 2 point range which I think is good because if you're going to be loading shotgun shells into a pistol, you better have to be right up next to me to kill me. And finishing up it has an 8 point accuracy, so obviously the gun will be more effective in close quarters maps and will be extremely useful when finishing off hurt enemies, which is why it's named Executioner. Last on our list we have the 5.7, yes it is returning to Black Ops 2, I think we call this a fan favorite for MW3, I see a lot of people using it, but for its stats we got a 12 point damage, 10 point range, and a 15 point accuracy, so pretty much it's just a downgraded TAC 45, but it does have a bigger magazine size, so that might entice players to use it, but I think most people will go with one of the other choices, you know, if they do decide to use a pistol. But just a couple things before I wrap up this video, one, I am really bummed they didn't bring back the Desert Eagle. It's one thing that they skipped out on the M16, but the Desert Eagle is just a classic. Even though I didn't use it at all in MW3, I still wish they brought it back. And lastly, I'm not sure if you remember the multiplayer reveal trailer. It has a clip with a guy using some kind of revolver, and that thing was called the Raging Judge. Well, I think it's safe to say that that thing got cut. It's not in the beta or on that Black Ops 2 Class Creator app that I made a video about. So yeah, that's just something I noticed. But I hope you guys enjoyed my last pre-release weapon guide video, and if you did, please show your support by giving a like. I know I ask every video, but I really, really do appreciate it. Just a quick heads up, I know some of you were not able to see the full length beta gameplay I posted. I had to take it down, I just I didn't want to get a strike on my channel, and it just was not worth it. So instead, I'm going to be taking important parts of the gameplay and breaking it down, and you know, showing you the important information that you might have missed. So expect that video to come out later this week. This was Uncle Kobe, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later. Peace.